2014 was an important year for us and a successful year for us. We launched a Think Forward strategy for the bank, we repaid the state in full, and we almost completed our restructuring program. Now on the restructuring program, if you look at our companies, Voya as one of the insurance companies in the US, and NN as an insurance company in Europe, we see that these companies perform very well as standalone companies. We're very proud of that. If you look at the underlying development of the bank, we see commercial momentum increasing. We have welcomed the one, uh, one million more customers this year, and we have actually gained 500,000 new primary banking relationships. Now that actually enabled us that in the economies in which we work to lend 15 billion euros of extra loans and uh, receiving 17 billion of funds and trusted, which shows a very balanced development of our bank. Now since the development is so good, our capital is, is better and we're stronger and more stable, we've also indicated that over the year 2014 we will pay a small dividend. And from now on we want to continue paying a dividend whilst at the same time keeping in mind that we want to stay a strong and stable bank in order to service our clients going forward. Well, as part of the Think Forward strategy, we promised our clients to make banking more simple, more clear, be available anytime, anywhere, in order to ensure that they would stay a step ahead in their financial decision taking. Now, together with our Chief Innovation Officer and our Chief Operations Officer, we actually have already uh, delivered a, a couple of innovative solutions in order to make things easier for our clients. For example, in Belgium, we've used biometric technology so that clients can actually use their fingerprint to get access to the mobile app. And in Germany, we now have an automated invoice payment system, where, which is called photo transfer, where people just take a picture of their invoice and then the data will, filled in, will be filled in automatically in the app to pay. And in Poland, we were awarded most innovative bank in 2014, not just because of the innovations, because we actually improved the client processes. Now, that's exactly what clients can expect from us. We've also promised that we will work on getting better every day, using new innovations and new products to make things better and more simple to work with the bank. And we saw in the last quarter of 2014, we saw the growth not so strong as what we expected. But we see positive signals now for 2015. For example, in Spain, we see real uh, recovery. We see that the unemployment in the Eurozone is inching down, which is a positive signal as well. Um, we see at the same time, we see a weaker Euro and a low oil price that should help consumer uh, confidence as well as consumer spending. It should help exporters to grow faster, and both of them will positively contribute to the growth of the economy. Now, we've also seen recently the announcement of quantitative easing by the ECB. Now, there's a lot of discussion on that, whether it will work or not. And clearly, you know, in order to have structural economic growth going forward, countries need to reform, structural reform. But we also see that the anticipation of quantitative easing already led to lower interest rates and a weaker euro, both having positive effects on economic growth. So let's also look at those aspects.